Welcome everyone to Pentakill Season 4 Playoffs. This is quarterfinals, aka round one. Today I am Depression Main. I am not always. Uh, and I am brought to you here today by Coca-Cola. Nobody outcokes the cola. Uh, and I've got with me IBD's Sebrig, as well as Aura with me today on the desk to bring you uh, the series best of three between the Voidwalkers Seed 2 and Demacian and Justice Stars, uh, Seed 8. Uh, so we'll be talking about Game 1 here. Guys, why don't you bring us up on the draft? All right. So draft looked like they started with blue, uh, Voidwalker's blue side. First pick, Swain into a Misfortune Maokai. Two very strong picks on the red side. Misfortune being very strong. And Maokai with his recent changes... Um, looks like we go pick two with the Garen Volleybear. Garen being, what is that? Sir Blackfish is one of his mains. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what nine raid usually plays though, unfortunately. Uh, typically he likes Kiana the most, but, uh, he almost never gets it. And then Lily is his second. So this is a little bit of an off pick for him, but I have seen him play it once or twice. And then... So we jump back over to red side. DJ picks Jenna for third pick before the next ban phase. Jenna, not a bad pick. Very strong when it comes to engage engage comps. Uh, able to protect the ADC. Yep, gives gives peel, gives good shielding, good good healing. Um, We're also going to see that brand mid lane. It looks like. Oh yes, the brand mid lane for. Who is that? Ghostwalker Ghost Walker. Uh, Ghostwalker definitely known for playing Swain, but when he doesn't get his Swain, he definitely moves over to the brand. Let's see now, I'm not as familiar with Ghostwalker. I have played with Squirtle, so, uh, so seeing Squirtle on Ana, Janna is actually very hopeful on my part, so expecting big things from DJ this game. Yeah, notably, it is a Maokai jungle, not a Maokai top lane. Uh, we have Pearl Ursa playing the Maokai there. And uh, I think that is expected by the Voidwalkers as uh, they went ahead and banned five top laners. <laughs> <laughs> the Sir Blackfish definitely eating a lot of the bands tonight. Yeah, Sir Blackfish took a Darius and an Alawi ban, and Obamacare took Aatrox, <laughs> Olaf, Yorick, Mordekaiser, and Fiora. So, uh, rough. He's on the choke. Very rough. <laughs> yeah, he's on the choke <laughs> up against Garen. Uh, hopefully he can make something happen here. But uh, I think that's all we have to talk about here in draft. Uh, we got a best of three ahead of us, so here's here's game one. Let's get right into it. You know, this is going to be a battle of top lanes, honestly. It's going to be top lane jungle. Got a nice little get wrecked coming out of Sir Blackfish. That's a yellow card already. Oh, right off the bat, a yellow card? Any level one cheese going on here? Um, mm. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually invaded low key with Volley, with volley Bear Swag. Uh, it looks like Nine Rain's moving to position for a ward there. Yeah, nice little safe play, it looks like. Uh, the five point was messed up by the DJ side, so they're going to correct that real quick. Oh, they definitely are going to correct. Oh, looks like there's some smack talking going on in the chat already. Oh my god. <laughs> EQ Ignite player insecure. There we Ooh. go, let's fix, uh, let's fix the border, there we go. Everybody good in chat now? Everybody feel good about it? Oh. <laughs> There we All go. Right, so should, we're just uh, holding steady, steady five point across the board. Both junglers starting in the bot side. It's going to definitely be a war for the top scuttle. Yep, pretty standard, I think, uh, starts from both sides. Uh, Nuclear Rooster uh, playing his prolific Swain that has come out since uh, the buffs, as well as uh, we got some shenanigans coming out of Zubaba with Zillion, the takeaway from Goose there. Um, and honestly, I think the matchup I care about the most here is going to be in mid lane. 
Ghostwalker. Yeah, I, I feel the same. Yeah, new addition to the league. You know, he's coming in. Uh, he knows Swain oh, in and out. Trading. Yeah, great trades coming out from just about everybody, except for Ed. Hot lane. <laughs> Oof. I notice Abstract likes to start Q on the not going avoiding the Q there. Not a big fan of the Q star on Misfortune. Ooh, but Sir Blackfish getting a full stack E with the armor armor panel. Yeah, no, very rough. That yeah. was awful, unfortunately. Yeah. And those guys are real good friends, so you know they're going to be real competitive <laughs> up there in the top lane. Auto Q coming out from Misfortune. With the, with the recent misfortune changes, you can get that auto queue out a lot quicker than act, than what actually happened. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, uh, she's real potent. Especially if you get the kill on the on the double up. Oh, look! Nice trade here from Rooster. Good trade. Ghostwalker taking a ton of harass. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's really just Rooster's expertise in the in the game. Yeah, he's got a lot of time in, especially this season. Uh, he did uh, he did his split over in uh, Europe to get better this uh, this time around. Ghostwalker, uh, a new new face to DJ, uh, filling in for uh, Mega Beast's role here. Could be just uh, some rookie nerves. Ooh, we're coming up Ooh, to nice five to six. If we're coming up to five to six camps on a jungler, looks like Maokai is gonna walk towards bot scuttle, giving up top scuttle to to volley bear. And volley bear is just going to take it. Which smart Here. choice, smart choice, as the volley will be a level up. Looks like Rooster is probably gonna get the kill on Ghostwalker here. Ooh, no, it's just a it's little short. I feel like Rooster could have tanked one tower shot and just dove and got that Q up. Yeah. yeah. He's a real conservative player and doesn't want to give anything over to Pearl Ursa if he doesn't have to, you know? We just watched uh, Looks like... a couple of things happen to <laughs> SIH's mid laner. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like Volley Bear is positioning top. Obamacare might be in trouble here. They don't have vision on the Maokai at all. Maokai's walking oh, into this he bush is... for free. Maokai walks into that bush for free. But oh, he no. Bomb no. Ooh, interesting little gank here. Ooh. That's going to be a tower dive if they want him. Ooh. They, are they gonna take it? No! That's two tower shots. Obama and they give up. Real good. Very, very, very well done. Nice shield from the Janna. I'm not sure how hard that matchup is in favor for for Choga. Abstract. Like. Well, looks like he's going to ward the tribe bush, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay. Yes. Uh, they have a lot of really good ward coverage on bot side of the map for uh, for DJ here. It uh, might be honestly a little too excessive. Yeah, you might want to space those out a little bit more, uh, just so that you get that. Because early game you don't have as many wards available to you because because support your support them. doesn't have them yet. Yep. Yeah. When they grabbed Scuttle, putting putting Vision into the River Bush is unnecessary, but putting it in Tri Bush is fine. Nice combo there by Ghostwalker. Ghostwalker having a little trouble CSing, unfortunately. Down 13 already. Yeah, and that's sort of to be expected against Swain. You know, he does know the champion in and out, but he can be a little oppressive, uh, especially with his health regen. Definitely going to have to keep an eye on that. Pearl Ursa looks like she is on her way to the bot side of the map, or through the mid lane. I think she's Ooh. going for Rap. For Raptors, maybe Raptors Krug's top gank, depending on how the lane state looks. What I want to see is Raptors mid dive, kill him. Raptors mid dive, I agree. 100%. Just like a Ghost Walker does have the control ward in the top side river. I would say, yeah, if we're going to go for Raptors mid dive, Janna should definitely start moving up now. Misfortune's got tons of gold, maybe about 1300 already. Mr. Blackfish just letting that Garen passive regenerate all of his health back. Those nice Mama. little Choga thought I was actually stopping uh, the Garen passive yeah. for a little bit longer. I like that. I didn't even think about that being a. Uh... Ooh, nice Q from Abstract there. Definitely hard shove this bot wave and look for a reset here. Looks There's like Nine Rain might set it up here. Pink cord into the top push. He is going to lose vision on the top side of the river he, there. He goes down. They're walking. Nice train. Oh, Zubaba's 
Is he caught? So Baba mm -hmm. should be able to walk out of here fine, yup. Oh uh, man. Yeah, oh, there's game. a flash from Blackfish. Blackfish. This yeah, should be a flash from Bali. Here it goes, oh, flash out flash. from Obamacare, and does look like they will get the flash. I want more Captain on Captain Violence. Get in there, Nine Ring. <laughs> Dive him. Get in there. Get in my belly. Abstract. I oh, suppose that would be more of a Choga thing. <laughs> <laughs> Abstract, abstract making up in the CS difference for mid lane, not bad. He should definitely throw an E down here. Oh, he doesn't have the mana for it though, unfortunately. He does have biscuits. Sir Blackfish taking two tower shots two for that. Ooh. Damn. Very close, very close. Ghostwalker with the Dark Harvest deck, baby. How many bad. you got now? I'm, I'm checking. That's where he's got one. one. That's, he's got one. That's value. That's value. Do Nine we... rain coming again. Nine rain coming back for the gank. Obamacare again. letting him know that he knows. Oh, he's gonna get ulted here. Tower down. Garanol coming. Very around. unfortunate. First kill of the game here going on to Sir Blackfish. Yeah, and I think that's just a repeat of what happened in the regular season. Uh, Nine rain comes up top lane 600 times, and Obamacare bra uh, has a bad time. I definitely feel like it's a, it's gonna be a mental gap this game. It does look like Polar Side is gonna get that dragon though while they. I think Nine Rain might rotate and get Herald here. Jinx Salt comes out, slaps out the mouth color. You know what? One kill for dragon? I take that every single day of the week. Uh, I would say it's a cloud dragon, unfortunately. I don't care what kind but... of dragon it is. That's a dragon, <laughs> baby. I love dragon. Oh, I mean, we're pushing towards it. What is it? We're pushing to her soul real quick. 100%. 22 minutes tops. Despite the fact that you need 15 minutes at least. Mm hmm. Yeah, uh, so just to reiterate, this is uh, the C2 team, Voidwalkers, against the C8 team, uh, Demacia Justice Shars. Best of three series this is game one. Nine uh, rain coming right back. 100%. Fortunately, Obama does have a ward. I don't know why he did not use it. He's fine. Nah, he's, he's not out of there. Now he should just take the scuttle. Oh, he should have took the scuttle. Cued it, eat it, art it. Put the ward down, though. <laughs> he did put the ward down on his way back to the lane. <laughs> Very important for him. Uh, and then he's going to back, so it has no use. <laughs> That's quite unfortunate. Maokai walking up, grabbing the red buff, going to grab the Krugs. Probably going to take a... I wouldn't say a reset after that. There's really nothing to do on this top side. Yeah, it looks like... Nine, did Nine Rain start Scuttle? Or not Scuttle, uh, Rift Herald? Yeah, it looks he like did. he did. It looks like he did. Yeah, he is starting it up there. Zillion's here to reinforce him just in case. Does have the ult available. They sh should leaving Gooch to die himself in the bot lane. They should definitely look for a dive here in the bot lane once they see Zillion topside. Might be a little hard though to this, dive this in. Perlursa not ready for the 9 rain rush. Oh, Swain flash in. Mm -hmm. Eon the Ghostwalker. Nice little stun there by Ghostwalker. Oh, Probably Ghost saved Walker his life flash to be ignite out. Rooster taking a lot of damage there. Yeah, Brand. Brand is really oppressive. Yeah, he did a really good job there. He stunned the Swain, preventing him from yoinking him back into the fight, uh, and also oh. did a whole pile of damage. Uh -oh. oh, E. The Zillion ult comes out. I'll step in. <laughs> oh, it's just a Zillion bomb. Yeah, yeah. They should definitely look for the dive here. They want it. But uh, clear too they they really lines. can't get it. It's unfortunate. Two I wouldn't be difference already in the top lane. Yeah, those ganks from Nine Rain really put Obamacare on the back burners. Rough. Good autos coming out from Sir Blackfish. Yeah, the gold difference isn't too massive uh, across the board. About 1.3k in favor of the Voidwalkers. Most of that on Sir Blackfish here uh, due to the jungle pressure. Um, and actually, yeah, a lot of it gets even out by pocket. Abstract. Yeah. yeah, Abstract's had a lot of gold in his pockets already. Abstract, obviously the best player in the league. I don't think there's any contest <laughs> there. 
<laughs> I don't know. Aya seems to have a, a tight grip on that one. I don't know who Aya thinks he is, but he's no abstract. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Aya is my rival. Whoa. And I stand by that. 100%. I'm going to say you don't see abstract missing Yone ults. That is true. This is true. I've <laughs> never seen him miss a Yone ult. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Somebody post the Aya clip. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Nine Rain makes his way back topside just to drop Rift Herald and get Sir Blackfish a tower. The trade from Ghostwalker getting his passive off. Oh, and it looks like there was, in fact, a pause in the game at one point. Uh, but because we are doing this in, a, in uh, the future a little bit, we don't have to wait for it. For that was a beautiful auto from Sir Blackfish. I didn't even get to see him like walk in a range of it. Oh from Rooster. He popped it. Spooky bird. Oh, got out. Still out. here to try he and save him. Good Unreal. Lord. There's Nine Rain top lane. He's gonna ult the tower. Good look. Oh, getting gold again. God. Obama yeah, Bolly is Barry. not having a good time getting killed by Nine Rain. Nine Rain <laughs> that really Bolly Bear. This oh, guy's the win con. I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> oh man. But Ghostwalker is playing this lane incredibly well. He hasn't He's... gotten as much CS as Nuclear Rooster, but like. That's he's, two, three times that he's just prevented a death that would Yeah, receive. he's surviving, and yeah. I'm liking it. As long as he survives out there, top tower goes down to Sir Blackfish after they drop the Rift Arrow. It's going to get a second charge off here, and he might get the second tower. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be a lot of damage up top. Yeah, Rift Herald goes Ooh. off. Yep, he should definitely just take Sir the Black tower Fish here. going to finish the tower he off. He can fight yeah. here. He can fight. That's 600 gold. Sheesh. And it's a full passive of E. I think yeah, he's going here. He no. kills here. Yep. He has the Garen ult available. So, yeah, he, if he can get close enough. But he doesn't have flash. He wasted it when Nine Rain ganked top. Mm. I still think he kills here. Yeah, one Q. Auto Q. Yep, Q. Q, E. e. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. There it is. Beautiful play there oh. by Sir Blackfish. Not much you could do if you are Obama. This Garen. game is going to start to spiral. Yes, yeah, sir. Blackfish already has a massive lead. We're talking almost a two-level lead at this point. Abstract, don't walk up to that man. That's definitely oh, not the person you want to walk up to. That's Abstract. He's the best player okay, in the game. Okay, you see the Maokai ult? Maokai she does hit him. Can she hit him with the W? Out. He gets out. Okay. All right, Q him back. Q him back. Abstract doesn't give a fuck. Beautiful. Abstract is the best. 650 shutdown. Oh, nice stun under the tower. Unfortunately, Rooster does not take the turret shot, but looks like Abstract is rotating. Random misfortune roams. Dude, why don't we have Abstract be the commissioner? He's clearly the best player. <laughs> Abstract, talk to me after the game. We'll work something out. Ooh, nine rain double camping, blue and gromp. You love to see it. Yep, Jinx from Go or Ghost from Jinx, knock up from Oh, Coochie does have to flash out. Does have to oh, flash oh, oh, he flashed past him. One more auto. Yeah, a great flash, but not a great uh, not a great auto attack damage there. Yeah, does Rooster live it. here? Oh, yeah. Oh, Pearl Rooster Rooster does not eyes. live here. Playing pinball with my man Ghostwalker. Yeah, rough. Unfortunate. Uh, Pearl Ursa and, and Ghostwalker do fall here. Oh, Garen walking him down. Obamacare literally just, oh, it's just a, do any, It is a mental game point. with those knockups, but it's kind of too late at this point. He's out. He's gone. He's the best top laner in the league. Does he go to take the Krugs? He does not. He walks down towards the mid lane. What happened? Oh, they, they just abandoned mid here. Yeah, it looks like uh, Abstract and Squirtle, aka Canadian Goose, had to take a back uh, uh, for the dive in the bot lane. That was unsuccessful. Um, here we go. Nuclear Rooster caught out. Rooster looking pretty dead here. Is that going to be a Cho'Gathol? It is not going to be a Cho'Gathol. Pink coming down. Couple of, couple of bodies here for this Herald. Like, not yeah, Nine Rain and Zubaba are going to get out of here. Uh. 
in double bomb from Zubaba. They're gonna yeah, they're just gonna give like the heroes here. Start taking rift. And yeah, Kuchi is gonna just sit here and continue to farm up in the bot lane. Mm -hmm. Looks like he gets closing up that gap, that TS gap from between him and Abstract. Yep. And notably, uh, the Demasi and Justice Shards did grab a second dragon about three minutes ago. Uh, which is big, because that puts them ever Ooh, closer. Ooh, flash to from Squirtle. Puts them ever closer to grabbing that soul, uh, <laughs> at 22 minutes. Uh, support for support flash? Nine rain, no. You Ooh, can't nine do this Abstract. Right abstract. on the Abstract. Abstract runs out. We've got uh, a no, great it's unfortunate. One auto. Flash auto to kill. Nine rain recognizing the old Void Walker threat. Jinx salt goes wide. Oh my oh, god, I almost had to dodge it in real point. life. What an unfortunate turn here. Radzu Baba, you don't have any health. Oh, he lives with one health. Swain oh. so tanky right now. Oh my Her god. Black just spin to win. Oh, that's yeah. huge. And then the all the sword. Brand with a nice stun there gets him and the John tornado out. to get Ghost Walker out. Easily. Oh man. It is a 7k gold lead on the side of Void Walkers. Void Walkers. Yeah, little known fact, Abstract was actually a Void Walker last season when they had their third place run uh, deep into playoffs. They did, uh, he was the single most improved player because uh, he was playing off roll and then was also incredibly good at AD carry, getting him drafted uh, this season for AD carry onto the Justice Shards. All of uh, Red Bot side getting taken except for the Wolves. I hate to see it. Dragon spawning in 30 seconds. Good ward coverage from Void Walkers. I would definitely like to see maybe another sweeper from maybe mid lane here. But. Ooh. Yeah, a little bit of, uh, of some vision difference here. Uh, mostly coming out of Cho'Gath at this point. <laughs> Man really had the, the war had the ward that top side. Yep. <laughs> First Damn. dragon going over to the Void Walkers here. And it is gonna be a mountain soul, which is absolutely detrimental to both sides. Yeah, I was gonna say, look at how tanky Void Walkers is yeah. already. With that... Garrett, Volibear, Swain that are going to be near unkillable already. <laughs> and to be honest, if the, the Justice Shards can grab any of those two, you know, Janna, Cho'Gath, Maokai are nothing to, uh, nothing to, to let have, uh, that Jinx dragon. Salt. Oh my lord, this Jinxol from across the map. That's the third one this game. I don't know if... Hitting that man's the best idea, but Jinx so have Blackfish at it. is just trying to avoid as much damage as possible before this dive. You know it's inevitable. I don't think the dive's going to come, no. unfortunately. I no, think they're just going to get and off. push. It definitely could have, but they elected not to, you know. Tower's still at most of its health. And they're going to keep Ghostwalker dive. bot while they rotate mid. Oh, double pull from Rooster. Oof. Oh, Gucci Nugget. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm impartial to who wins game one here. Uh, I don't. I, I don't I'm I'm to... more excited for game two. Yeah. I want I want a game three. I want game three, baby. Whoever wins oh. this game, you're automatically off my list for next game. I want the other <laughs> team to win as much as possible. The start and Baron here. Ooh. Yeah, Perlers is right there. Uh, he doesn't spot it out though, unfortunately. Oh, there this sapling go. will spot it out now. Ooh. They see it at 6k. This is the a very abstract walker and abstract early alt for little out of pl lot of yeah, position. Yeah, that alt was a little oh, out of no, place, no, unfortunately. No, no, no. Oh, oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Rooster just being a menace. Well, I'm yeah. not gonna lie, I couldn't see Look that Swain E at Look all. Look with the Zubaba speed up? Come on. Jeez. Ghost and Zubaba speed That's up. That's so rough. Oh, Blackfish Ghost diving Ghost Walker, and he just oh. gets out of there. Just walks away. Two Man full didn't... items. Man didn't even stand a chance. He got silenced up and then spun on. Yeah, it looks so Jillian will give Kushi the additional level there. 
Yeah, I think the Voidwalkers just go and close this one out pretty quick. I don't know if there's a way back in it for DJ. I think they just re rack their mental for game two and hope uh, things go a little bit differently. For game two, I feel like. I don't know. And Nine Rain looking really strong compared wow. to his counterpart. I think it was just the repeat ganks on top lane where he yeah, was actually that, giving yep, stuff. Yeah, that mental diff. <laughs> yeah, he managed to collect a couple of things in top lane, whereas Merlursa <laughs> sort of had to scrap over dragons and stuff. Uh, Joe almost about a 10k gold lead on the side of Voidwalkers. Yeah. Seems pretty much, unfortunately, over. 10k, 20 minutes is going to be rough. If they can, if the Demacia Justice Charge can manage to pull this out to like a 40 minute game, I think that gold difference matters a whole lot less. But uh, they're going to need to grab some tower shutdowns. It's literally need... almost 10, 10 grand right now. Yeah, they're going to they're have to make some big plays to uh, come back into this. Unfortunately, on I, they need I'm to slow the that. game down, is what they need to do. And I don't know that they have a team that can slow this game down. Definitely not liking the collector buy on abstract that's coming up. It is coming up. Uh, misfortune with the he's going. Crazy, it is a very common bad. build, but yeah, you're not I would ahead. Still go, typically, I would definitely go. Yeah, LBR typically, if you're not ahead, you would probably want. LBR. I would assume Phantom Dancer. LDR, there's too many tanky people yeah. on the other yeah, side. Yeah, Lord Doms yeah. would Nine definitely be. And Sir Blackfish. And Swain. Mm hmm. And then you have to kill one of them twice uh -oh. because of Zillion Ult. Do they stay? Oh, yeah, it looks like they're going to collapse on Obamacare here. Yep, he's oh, on the Obamacare run. is they, they need to They need to get in there. That's their only that chance of save, saving. Uh, his oh, no. Broken. Look how slow he is. Look how tanky Sir Blackfish is. All right. They need... Oh, he's just standing Honestly, they need to focus there. the Zubaba down here. There is just... Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's done. They just got yeah. wiped. Oh, that is man. it. Yeah, that's, that's a rough team fight. Man. Five for zero, uh, and Into I believe an that is the FF. Yeah, uh, no reason to waste you know the extra few minutes there. Give him the FF, and uh, that's gonna be game one over to Voidwalkers. Uh, we'll be back very soon with game two. Do you guys want to talk about MVPs here? MVP, I'd have to give it to Nine Rain, really yeah, setting up the I top lane between Nine Rain and Sir Blackfish himself. Mm -hmm. But I'm probably gonna go with Nine Rain here. Just I've seen several plays from how, how his positioning, getting up into top lane and making sure Sir Blackfish was fine, to it, making sure that Rooster was fine in the mid lane, to also covering Kuchi and Zubaba in the bot lane. It was just very, very lots of jungle pressure. Yeah, I have to agree with you guys. I'm gonna give it to Nine Rain with an honorable mention over to Nuclear Rooster, who had uh, the highest KP and uh, some pretty solid. Uh, Shoosting and uh, congrats to both uh, Cooch Nugget Nine Rain and Zubaba for their perfect KDAs. Uh, but yeah, with that, I think that'll wrap up game number one. I will get game number two all set up for us and we'll jump right into it in just a few minutes. Stay tuned.